Good morning, friends, and welcome to Young at Heart Worship with East Dallas Christian Church. I'm Pastor Allison, and I'm so glad that you are joining us here in the second week of the new year. This is really exciting. Today, you'll see I'm out on a walk in my neighborhood because we're going to be talking about the wise men talking about those people who saw a star in the sky and decided to go and see what it was foretelling, to go and meet this new baby king that was being born. And so we're gonna talk about how they were on a journey, on a walk. And so I thought we'd get some exercise while we talked about that together. Let's sing We Three Kings together. We three kings of Orient are bearing gifts. We traverse afar, field and fountain moor, and mountain following yonder star. Oh, star of wonder, star of life, star with royal beauty bright westward leading still proceeding guide us with thy perfect light and now our centering song which i'll only do half of the motions for but i invite you to do all of the motions for be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Our scripture for today is from the first part of Matthew chapter 2. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, Wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all of Jerusalem with him. And calling together all of the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where this Messiah had been born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for it has been written by the prophet, and you, Bethlehem, and the land of Judah are by no means the least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem saying, go and search diligently for this child. And when you have found him, Bring me word so that I may go and also pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. Then when they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chest, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. As I mentioned earlier, we're out here in my neighborhood taking a walk because that's really what the wise men or the magi did. They saw the star in the sky that a lot of us had an opportunity to see before. You know, we saw two planets almost looking like they were touching, so they shone so bright in the sky. And maybe that's what the Magi saw as well. They saw something very different in the sky, and they were scientists, they were astronomers, and they thought this must mean something very, very, very special. And so they took off. They gathered all of their things, some clothes, some food, some money. They grabbed their camels so they didn't have to walk the whole time. And they just set off. They lived just kind of in the east. They don't really tell us where they lived, but they lived in the east and decided to travel to where Jesus is. 
And now some of you may be wondering, Pastor Allison, why are you telling us about the wise men after Christmas? We usually talk about them before. And we did talk about them before Christmas, but because they were traveling so far, they didn't actually get there for Jesus's birth. They showed up a little while later and got to actually see baby Jesus, which is really cool because I was, was trying to do some math and um, was looking at how far they might have traveled. And since we don't really know exactly where they were from, I started a little smaller. And so I looked at how far Mary and Joseph probably had to travel, had to walk. And they had to walk 90 miles, which is pretty far. I looked up where I live out here in Garland in Richardson down to where the church is. And that's only about 20 miles. And I can't even imagine walking that much. This path that I walk in my neighborhood is about maybe a mile, a mile and a half. And even then I'm tired and ready to go back inside afterwards. So I just think about Mary and Joseph, but definitely those wise men and how far they had to walk and how important they must have realized Jesus was. To pick up and leave what they knew, to go to an unknown place that they'd never been because of a star, because they saw that something really important was probably happening. And when they leave, when they go on their journey, they have to make a stop because they know kind of roughly where Jesus is, but not 100% sure. So they stop and they talk to King Herod. And some of us may remember that King Herod is not super nice. And so they ask King Herod and they say, where is this baby, this newborn king? Thinking maybe it's Herod's baby, I guess. And Herod goes, uh, I'm not having a baby. What are you talking about? So Herod gets nervous and he has his science guys, his smart guys, look it up and realize where it might be born and they send the wise men on their way. But he says, hey, you guys come back here. Tell me what you find. Tell me who you see, what you learn. Cause you know, I want to go be nice to this baby too. I want to go pay homage. And the wise men are like, awesome. Sure dude, we'll see you later. And uh, they go and they do find baby Jesus and they bring him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh, which are weird gifts for a baby, but they're great gifts for a king, especially for our King Jesus. They help us to know that Jesus is really special and that he's gonna do amazing things for us in the future. And while they're there with Jesus, they realize they have a dream that says, do not under any circumstances, go back to Herod not a nice guy and so they listen to their dream and they go home by another way they take a different route that doesn't involve Herod because as we learn a little later Herod was really scared about Jesus and he was really nervous that Jesus was going to take away his power and really worried that he wouldn't get to be king anymore and so he wanted Jesus to be gone to go away because he didn't understand the amazing things that Jesus was bringing, that Jesus was promising, um, that Jesus brought life and glory and not destruction or pain. But Herod didn't get any of that. And so the wise men listened and were really smart to go home by another way. And so that's kind of what we know about the wise men. After that, they disappear, they go back to their homes and go back about their lives, doing science, looking at the stars. Uh, but they are some of the important characters of the birth of Jesus story that really help us know and understand how important this tiny little baby is. Now that we've had our scripture and kind of thought and talked together about uh, how the Magi, the wise men are in Jesus's birth story, it's time to wonder together. And remember, this is where you are invited to pause on each slide at each question and think to yourself or share with anybody around you some of the thoughts that maybe the story and this new way to look at it brought up to you.
thank you so much for all of your wonderings. I'm sure they were great. I would love as always for you to put any of them in the chat so that I can hear them and read them and come to new wonderings with you. Let's now move into a time of prayer together. Let's again pause at each slide reflecting on some of the joys, the happy things for our week and some of the frustrations or the difficult things from our week. Thank you so much for joining me on this walk this morning. I hope that some point today the weather is nice enough where you live that you can get out and walk and enjoy nature and think a little bit about what the Magi went through, how they had to walk to see Jesus and experience this great gift that God has given us. Let us take this into our hearts and go to God in prayer together. Awesome God, we give thanks for all of the people in Jesus's birth story and the different things that they teach us and show us about this newborn baby king. Help us to remember to share the joy in everything we do. In your name we pray. Amen. <laughs>